throughout two whole years, am I in the right place here? Yeah. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came into him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. He was confident about it. No man stopped him. See, you got to know when people are starting to speak about Jesus, your ears need to prick up. You know why? Because if they send around babies, you need to move that baby away from that individual if they are incorrect. And watch this. As soon as they sit there and try to minister to a baby, you put to sit right next to them, the conversation will stop. That's how you know they're talking wrong. But if you go sit next to a poop, they got one second. But if they're so being moved by God, they will keep talking. But as soon as you get there, they ain't got no more sense. They ain't nothing to lie one of them. That's when you pick up that baby, he said, he said, come on, talk to me, get away from that. Believe me. Believe me. Go to uh, 2 Timothy 2.15. But you've got to be teaching the word with boldness. Amen? Amen. 2 Timothy 2.15, some of y'all love this scripture. I know I do. Some of y'all are quoting my heart. 2.15, 2 Timothy 2.15. And it says, uh, study to show yourself approved of God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if somebody comes near you and you're talking about God, you shut up, you ain't right in the body. Because you're not going to be ashamed of what you say. You ain't going to want to hide, you're going to want to share. I mean, one time I was teaching a Bible study, a teen challenge, and I told the, the group, you know, that they are going to judge the angels. And all my critics heard me say, man, why are you telling them people they going to judge angels? I said, it's here in the Bible. And they had to come back and apologize. You know? But where is that at, Brother Warren? I'll tell you exactly where it is. First Corinthians 6, verse 3. You don't you know you will be judging angels? Yes. Amen. But I bought that I have a controversy that day. This guy wanted to kill me. You steer them brothers wrong, tell them they're gonna worship and judge angels. I ain't tell them that. I said they're gonna judge angels. But he worshiped angels. He ain't supposed to be worshiping no angels. All right, number three. Studying the word will help you to refute false doctrine. False doctrine always leads to sexual immorality. Amen. If you are ever around false doctrine, it will lead to sexual immorality. Are you going to say something, brother? Okay. There are three ways you can tell false doctrine in a cult. For those of you who are interested, making sure you may become a Jehovah or a Mormon. Amen. Or a Christian scientist. That's a cult. That's still false. How do you know it's false doctrine? Because it's going to be three ways you can tell. It's either about power, it's either about money, or it's about sex. And here's how you always know. If the preacher or the leader don't have no leader, it's a call. Every leader should have a leader. Every leader should be a follower of someone else and accountable to someone else. If he's the only entity in the church, a call. Amen. Boy, look how quiet Well, the man speaking my pastor ever told me, he says, you ask a man of God two things in the church. Number one, who's your pastor? Number two, what's your vision? And if it don't line up with you, get away from that church. Amen. But if it's about money, and it's about power, and it's about sex, young ladies, and sometimes men, if we see that come out of the woodwork now, the ones I was watching, and they was on the, uh, what they call it, the download or the DL, whatever they call it. And the guy was mad. Oh, what was I watching on? They call him Color Girl. And the, uh, Janet Jackson's husband was on the download. Yeah. But watch this. He didn't think he was gay. But what caught me was his explanation. He said, no, gay people walk hand in hand. I just like having sex with men. <laughs> Duh! No. That don't make me gay, baby. <laughs> Of mankind. Mm. Just because you don't get 
get it. Or you don't. Mm -hmm. Right? That's called you and the future of mankind because you let him do it. Okay. And he bent over in front of you. Yes, he did. Why am I not gay? I just need the money. He's gay. That's not mine. Grace and 
mercy and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. For this cause let I thee increase that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in cities. Is that what I want? Yeah, keep going. Ordain elders in every city as I have appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. You know, you know what riotous living was. Go down the horses. Party! Wait to the left. Wait to the right. <laughs> I mean, go to verse 9 of Titus now. Go to verse 9. <laughs> Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. You know what gainsayers are? Got a whole bunch of intelligence, but ain't saying nothing. Amen. Let's keep reading. <laughs> I knew I was going to For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, that means the Jews. You know, they ain't mean us today, man. Whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses. Whose mouths must be stopped. They subvert what they're trying to do. Pervert the house. They come in here with their own, their own doctrine. They come in with their own motives, man. Amen. All right, the mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. What is filthy lucre? Amen. Keep going. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said that the creatures are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. <laughs> Sorry, that Slow belly. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them what? Sharply. What does it say, Bob? Sharply. Rebuke them sharply. You ain't real. You phony. See, you ain't supposed to talk like that. See, see, the one who's just pleasing me. 
Amen. And they shall turn away from their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto faith. Amen. And finally, 19, Psalm 19, write, write this down, let thy word of thy mouth and all thy meditation of thy heart be accepted on thy side, O God. Amen. But I'm going to close. I have more. But I won't close. Father, we just thank you for this word. I pray it went forth and that people are really going to try and study the word. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing in my life and the men and women's lives that are in this room. Because they were here and predestinated to be here before the foundations of this world were this I pray they wake up. And I pray, remove anything that is not like you out of friendship. Remove any lazy man out of here. Remove any lazy woman out of here. We want to help those who are hurting, help those who are hungry, but they will not use this place for their own motive. Make them go to work, make them search, make them hot, make them clean, break them from. I ask these things in Jesus' name. And if you agree, amen. amen. amen.